Here's the data that we're going to graph today. One thing I want you to notice is that we have data that spans over time. We're looking at the sales of books. So we're looking at a change over time. So the data continues day to day to day. You're collecting it every day. This is continuous data, so the best graph to use for this type of data will be a line graph. So let's look at how to make a line graph. Step number one, you need to make your axis. So you have your Y axis and you have your X axis. Because it's days of the week, other types of line graphs you would have months of the year, years, so you have change over time. You also could have time periods, so 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, or so forth. All that kind of continuous data is great to be shown in a line graph. So I'm just going to label my x-axis with the days of the week, and I'm going to skip spaces and also just write in the short forms of the days of the week, not the full word. Now that I have my x-axis labeled, I'm going to use my y-axis where I will put my scale. Looking at my data, I've already determined that $32 is my largest sales number and $11 is my smallest sales number. So to find the range, I subtracted 11 from 32 and got 21. 21 tells me that my range can be 2, but I don't need to start at 0. In this case, I'm going to start at 8 and go up by 2. I also went one beyond my largest number as well. I just think it makes the graph look a little nicer when the largest number is not necessarily the biggest number in your table. So, to plot a line graph, you look at your data. I'm going to use a ruler to help me to keep my numbers straight. But Sunday is $32 worth of sales, so I'm going to put a dot following up the line on Sunday and put a dot on 32. Monday's sales are $25, so I'm going to find 24. I know 25 is between 24 and 26, so I'm going to put a dot in the middle there. Tuesday's sales are $13. Again, a dot in between 12 and 14. Wednesday sales are $11. Thursday sales are back up at $27. Friday is 14. And Sunday is 22. Now that I have my data plotted out on my line graph, I'm just going to make the dots just a little bit easier to see. And I'm going to take my ruler and join them together. So Sunday to Monday. Monday to Tuesday. And these should be straight lines, Tuesday to Wednesday. Wednesday to Thursday, Thursday to Friday, and Friday to Saturday. And that is a line graph. Now looking at that line graph, you can tell many different things. 
you can tell that Sunday is the day that you're selling most books. So if you're a store owner and you need to have sales staff to sell books, if you're selling more books on Sunday, you should make sure that you have more sales staff working on that day. Wednesday is a day that you're not selling very much. So it's also a day you might not need to have as many sales staff working that day. Additionally, Making $11 in sales of books is probably not that great. So if you needed to advertise or put a promotion on for the days that you wanted to increase your sales, you would not promote sales on Sunday, but may promote sales on Tuesday, Wednesdays, or Fridays because those are your lowest sales days. Lots of information can be determined from line graphs and decisions can be made based on the data that is collected. Now go ahead, use the data that you're given and try to make your own line graph.